Shocking body camera video released today shows the deadly police shooting of Sonia Massey. The mother of two called 911 just before 1 a.m. because of a possible prowler, only to be shot by a deputy inside her own Illinois home. A now former deputy faces three counts of first degree murder. <laughs> Body camera video reveals the events leading up to the horrific scene. What took you so long to answer the door? Oh, I was trying to put on some clothes, sir. I'm sorry. You doing all right mentally? Yes. Sure. My medicine stuff. All right. Okay. I love y'all. Thank y'all. Inside the home, Sangamon County Sheriff's Deputy Sean Grayson can be heard asking Sonia Massey to check on the stove. We don't need a fire while we're here. Within seconds, things become tense. Where are you going? Huh? Where are you going? Uh, away from no, your hot steam and water. Away from my hot steam and water? Yeah. Oh, I would rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Not, I swear to God, I'll shoot you straight in your face. Okay, okay I'm sorry. Drop the Massey the starts to set down the pot and apologizes. Drop the Drop the Grayson fires three times, striking her in the face. Headshot with the female, 1078. Prosecutors say Grayson's partner tried to give the 36-year-old first aid, even though Grayson discouraged him. I'm gonna go get my kit. No, she's done. You can go get it, but that's a headshot. And we are back with another episode of Pop the Balloon or Find Love. And today we've got some beautiful single ladies lined up. Make some noise, ladies. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go ahead and be bringing out some single men. They're gonna come out one by one. And when he comes around, you know, if he's your type, you know, the height, you know, beard, facial hair, whatever it is, you're feeling him, do not pop your balloon. But if there's anything that's just like, oh no, this is not my guy, go ahead and pop it. And I'll go over to each of you, see why you ended up popping. Y'all ready? Okay, let's get some matches. So let's go ahead and bring out our first single guy. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold that. What's Hello. your name? My name is Alistair. Alistair, how old are you? I'm 36 years old. 36, okay, and what do you do? I'm a deputy sheriff. All right, okay, and what are some things you like to do for fun? I like to travel. I like to go on trips. Okay, <laughs> and now what are some things you look for in a woman? Um, someone that's intelligent, very laid back, knows what she wants, mm -hmm. can allow me to lead. Okay. And now what are some of your deal breakers? My deal breakers will be smokers. Mm. That's the number one thing, okay. smokers. Got it. Okay. So we did get a couple of pop balloons. Let's go on over to these ladies and see why they ended up popping. Yes. Okay. All right. Let's start over here. If we can have your name and age. Alexis, and I'm 29. Okay. And Alexis, what do you do? I'm a realtor. Nice. Now, uh, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, he just didn't really seem like too much my type, mm -hmm. and um, I don't know about the police, honestly. <laughs> okay, okay. But you're an attractive man, so, you know, no thank hard you, feelings. Thank you, thank you, thank <laughs> you. Okay, let's go on to our next pop balloon over here. Okay, if we can have your name and age. My name is Tiffany, and I'm 26 years old. Okay, and Tiffany, what do you do? I am an exotic dancer, but I use my money from exotic dancing to fund my business ventures. Ooh, okay, mm -hmm. all right. And now, uh, why did you end up popping your balloon? Well, first of all, he said that he don't, you know, like smokers. I'm a big smoker. And I don't think, you know, the police and an exotic dancer would mix. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, I like the way you're built. You know, I like the age. I'm, I'm into older men, mm. so. Okay. Well, I don't know. I feel like her answer is just a little bit disingenuous because she popped it as soon as he walked out. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you. Like, there was no, there was no, like, hey, how you doing? As soon as he walked out, she popped the balloons. So. All right, thank you. Let's go on over here. Okay, if we can have your name and age. Yes, hi, I'm C and I'm 36. Okay. And C, what do you do? I'm in medical sales. All right. okay. And so why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, well, I just have to give it to you. You were the first guy to come out, and I know that we can only pick one guy, so I'm just waiting. So. Okay. But is he someone that is your type? Um, maybe if I got to know him a little bit better, but, you know, right now I'm just waiting. Okay. 
<laughs> if we can have your name and age. My name is Nkiru and I'm 32 years old. Okay. And what do you do? I work with a pharmaceutical company as a monitor. Okay, very nice. And now why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I don't know, he's just not my type. Like, just, I don't know, if I'm basing off of looks, he's just not my type. I don't really know, I just, I just don't feel a connection. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right, thank you. Let's go on to our next lady over here. If we can have your name and age. My name is Danielle and I'm 35. Okay. Danielle, what do you do? I work at Human Resources. Nice. Okay, and why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, honestly, it's because he's the police. Oh. <laughs> okay, so apart from him being a police officer, he is someone that is your type? Yeah, I mean, I don't necessarily go off of like, uh, looks per se, so if we had a conversation, maybe. Okay, but all right. He's the police. So. <laughs> all right, let's go back this way. We did get a pop, if we can have your name and age. Caprice, 32. Okay, and Caprice, what do you do? I am a certified Christian life coach. Okay. And now why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, just initially it just wasn't enough bass in your voice. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh okay. okay. We do have one more pop balloon back here. If we can have your name and age. My name is Lexi and I'm 27. Okay. Lexi, what do you do? I am a full-time biomedical science student and a birth doula. Oh, nice. Okay. And now why did you end up popping your balloon? Well, um, Unlike everybody else, like the police thing didn't really bother me, mm. but like as I like kind of walked, it was like kind of like the haircut in the back is like not fully cut, mm. and then the chap lips. Yeah, okay. it's kind of a okay. thing for me. So <laughs> yeah, I got it. Okay, yeah. and then we did get one last one down here. All right, if we can have your name and age, Kiana, thirty-two. And Kiana, what do you do? Um, well, I'm in the health health field, mm -hmm. CNA, also in real estate, and I'm the supervisor at a, a shoe store. So, okay. yeah. Very nice. You're very busy. <laughs> and now, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I just felt like sticking to the code, you know? I didn't have no problem with the law enforcement and mm -hmm. whatnot, but I don't know, I just feel like I should be sticking to a code, or, you know? Okay. What do you mean by sticking to the code? Just that's honestly like you know i just felt like everybody kind of reminded me and whatnot so yeah that's just life so. <laughs> sorry i'm I'm a little confused reminded you of what <laughs> no um because you know i'm just mentioning about him being in law enforcement and um so i just felt although i don't see it as a problem there's always been a history behind it mm. so i just would just follow that I don't follow too many, but I'll follow that, so yeah. Man, it's very tragic what happened to that black woman, you know, in Illinois that was fatally shot in the face. And something I've been saying for a long time is, man, we need more black men in law enforcement. But I'm facing a huge problem in uh, pushing that message and getting people to realize, okay, you know, being a rapper, being a football player, being in the NBA, being a TikToker, being a social media influencer is not the only job, you know, out there. In all actuality, you know, the jobs that keep people safe, we need more people, we need more black young men, you know, volunteering to join the police force right out of college, you know, uh, right out of high school. Because here's the thing, that woman lost her life and was shot in the face behind the hatred of one police officer. And his partner was actually pretty level-headed and wanted to go get the police uh, and wanted to go get the first aid kit. But his partner, the one that shot her in the face, was like, no, it's not even worth it. No need to do that. And I tell you this, the reason I say I need your help on this is because in our community, we have a lot of double-minded women. And if that police officer would have had a black partner you know, this woman possibly, I can pretty pretty much guarantee she would still be alive. You see what I'm saying? But because we have people out here in our community that hate the police, the police is bad, and you the, you the, uh, you the police. And I'm gonna show you a good example in this video with black woman shaming a man off the rip for him being a protector, him being law enforcement. You know why? Because they don't wanna clean up their foolishness. This Illinois, mother could have 
still been here. But because we have some double-minded people in our community, double-minded uh, women, you know, that don't want to support this, well, guess what? I've said it many times before. You are rolling that dice as a black man or a black woman when the police are called or when you pick up that phone and call the police because you don't know who's going to be on the other side of that door and what kind of wicked, rebellious spirits they're harboring. Maybe their uh, wicked and rebellious spirits is pretty much responding to the wicked and rebellious spirit in you. You see what I'm saying? It, the, the word says that, you know, Satan comes to seek, kill and destroy. He's not giving life. So roll that beautiful bean footage. You'll see what I'm talking about. Got to clean this mess up because all the daughters of Zion, you, I saw y'all, y'all shame this man. Want nothing to do with him, but that's the brother you want when you call 911. He's the man you want when you call 911. See, I cut straight up the middle. I know when I'm talking to a hypocrite. I know when I'm talking to a double-minded woman, a double-minded person. You say you want a protector. You say you want a good man. You say you want a pillar of your community. Look no further. You got one and look what you did with him. That's why we don't have the support that we need to be able to uh, police in our own communities. This is what happens when you uh, push your kids to only want to be athletes, rappers, lazy, instead of having them fulfill these good honorable jobs.